Alright, so I'm gonna go over how to delineate a watershed in ArcMap. Um, I'm checking the delineation of a watershed that someone else did, so I'm basically redoing it to check to see if their delineation is correct or pretty close. So once you open up ArcMap, this is the first thing that comes up. Um, I'm not, I'm not a ArcMap Arc guru, I just use it for basics, basics. but I'll just click a blank map, and, and then normally, normally I actually import all the layers in, but Samantha showed me an easier way. I had used some of these base maps before, before but not the one that she pointed out to me, the topo maps. maps. And, they and they look to be just as good as the ones I normally import from GIS layer, GIS server. So once they come in, to say yes to enable a hardware accelerator. Using ArcMap is kind of pain in the butt because it's um, hard to follow sometimes. All right, so this is the watershed I'm going to check. These are the lat longs up here, so I'm going to enter those lat longs into the XY coordinates to find them in the world. 36, 11 minutes, 13.68. Seconds long 106 57 minutes 39.909 seconds <coughs> at a point. Oh, oh that took me to uh, China. I'm gonna specify west and at a point. We're gonna zoom into that point. And this, this the delineation of this watershed is uh, for a pond. pond. We're doing chapter two hydrology. So, so there is, is the pond location. location. And what we'll do hereafter is delineate the watershed. watershed. So. What I do is I just uh, go to, uh, let's see, it's been a little while since I've been here, view, insert, text, I believe. Uh, come on, where that, view, uh, where's the damn toolbar, there we go. Okay, so if you don't have the toolbar drawing, you'll need it. And then what I do is I go and I click uh, uh, polygon. And then I just start delineating the watershed. So the red, the, wa the green marks where we're putting our pond, it almost looks like there's pond there already. I haven't been to the site yet. But uh, we'll just start delineating our watershed. So I'm just going to start. Going up, uh, I've created a video on this before. Essentially, what I'm doing is I'm just finding all the like I call them nubs, and I'm I'm uh, going right into the nub. So this is a nub, and I'm going right in the middle of it. There's another nub, 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 nub. Um, we're starting to go up, up. And it goes up a steep peak. And then we're going to start working our way back. So sometimes I just try to look, work, look backward and then look forward. There's a nub. And then, uh, uh, let's see here. I'm going to say probably right here. And then I'll say right here, and then I'm ending it. So there is my watershed. I'm going to right-click it. I'm going to go to Properties, change my fill color to no color, outline to red, apply, find out what the area is. I'm going to go to Acres, 
I got about 496 acres. And I just look at the watershed again to see, make sure I did an all right job. Um, I think that's probably pretty representative. Someone might argue that we go here instead of here, but I want to call it good. So I know it's about 496 acres. If I'm doing chapter two hydrology, that's the acreage I would use. Um, so at this point, point you're going to end up having to use, use this watershed to figure out what your curve, curve number is. So you're going to have to import, figure out, out instead of delineating the watershed, watershed again in um, web soil survey, survey, you can actually import this shape file. So I'm going to do that. So I'll click it, right click, and I'm going to say graphic operations. operations. Oh, that's not it. I'm going to go up here to drawing. I'm going to say convert, convert graphics to features, and I want to make, um, leave that the same. Um, I'm going to click this little folder, and uh, instead of a convert, instead of a file on personal database feature class, I'm going to create a shape file. And then I'm going to go and put, put it where I want it to go. go. So let's go to, uh, I'll go to a new folder, PC, Jeremy, 2020, design check. Uh, and this is for, I think this is Rudy Pino. Gosh dang it, I forgot who it was. Uh, it is for... Yep, Rudy Pino. So I'll go to Rudy Pino. That's where I want the sheet file to go. So I'm connecting the file, the folder, to ArcMap. I'm going to rename this shape file uh, something like pond.shape. Pond shape file. Rudy. Okay. I'm going to save it. And when you save it, um, it'll ask you if you, ask you want, you want to, export to export data to the map as a layer, and yes, I do. And so now you have a layer where you can actually turn it on and turn it off if you want to. You end up with two things. You end up with what you originally originally created, which you just delete, and then the back of it is your shape file. So now you can turn it on and turn it off. Okay, so now we're going to go to Web, Web Soil, Soil Survey, survey. and we're, we're going to use that watershed to figure out what our soils, soils are, and, and instead, instead of having to redo the whole damn thing, thing uh, we're just going to go into, uh, once, once you get into Web Soil Survey, survey you're then going to go into, uh, where is it, import, import AOI. AOI. You, you want to create, create an AOI, AOI from a shape file. file. You, you want to browse to where your shape file was saved. Uh, and you specifically want to bring in, it says right here, a dot shape file, a dot shhx file, and a dot prj, and a pdbf file is optional. I bring it all in. So. I'm going to go and I'm going to select the shape file, which is, okay, okay one, one thing that you got to do is, you see how it shows here dot shape and then it shows this, well, it's saying that ArcMap is still open, so you have to close ArcMap, otherwise it won't let you import it. So what I'll do is I'll go in here and I'll save this ArcMap file. I'm just going to call it Rudy Pino, and now I have an ArcMap file. We'll save it. And then we'll have to get out of ArcMap. And then as soon as you get out, if this doesn't update, then uh, we might just have to go back into it. Yeah, it updated. So now you can see that that it's not open. And now you can click the PR, the .shp file, which it doesn't blatantly say it, but if you scroll over a bit, 
it should, should be this one. one. Should, should be. Open. open. Then we're going to go to the SHX, SHX file. And that's, and that's this one. one. That, that one's obvious because it has SHX, SHX there. Then, then we're going to go to the PRJ file. And, and then, then lastly, we're, we're going to go to the DBF file. file. And, and now you set your AOI, and, and that, that shape file you, you created in ArcMap is automatically, automatically created in um, WebSol Web Survey. So now we can just go to SolMap, because what we delineated in ArcMap is the same thing in WebSol Survey. And there are all the soils associated with our watershed that we have to put on our Chapter 2 hydrology to figure out what the curve number is. So that's a quick way to do it. Uh, if you have any questions, give me a call. Thank you.